OpenVSB's propeller component is a very powerful tool that's used for designing or modeling uh, traditional aircraft propellers, helicopter rotors, even turbine blade configurations for things like compressors and turbines. And there's a lot going on under the hood in this component. So we're going to use this time to provide a bit of an introduction to all of the different parameters and controls and features of this component. Now, if there's anything here that's unfamiliar or you'd like to learn more about what we're talking about, there are a variety of excellent references, uh, including Principles of Helicopter Aerodynamics by Leishman, Helicopter Theory by Johnson. You can look up uh, Rotary Wing Aerodynamics. And those are excellent resources for finding out the meaning of something like the activity factor or the solidity. And it's going to give you an idea, a really detailed idea of what's going on when we're talking about these components. So under the design tab, you of course get access to things like the diameter and the twist at the three quarter position, or you can set feather. You can describe where the feather axis uh, is set. And down here, it's going to calculate some of these propeller or rotor metrics for you, including, as was said, the activity factor and the solidity. Under the blade tab, you get access to all of the different curves that are going to define different parameters and the distribution along the radius, like cord twist, sweep, etc. Under the cross-section tab, of course, we're setting the various cross-sections that define the shape of the profile along the blade. And you can set two equal cross-sections at the beginning and end and just maintain a constant airfoil shape. Or you can set multiple different shapes and allow OpenVSP to blend between those. Under the Modified tab, similar to the wing component, we can shift, rotate, and scale whatever cross-section type we've established. And we can also change the closure of the cap of the leading edge and trailing edge. So if we want to change the trailing edge to have a certain type of, say, blunt closeout, we can apply that here. And the More tab is where things like propeller folding comes into play. So you can set the angle, the location of the hinge, and how everything is placed. Then you also have the tip treatment, which includes your cap tessellation here, and that's for the root and the tip caps. And then finally, your tessellation control, which changes your leading edge and trailing edge clustering, as well as your root and your tip clustering. And since we already have these, we can calculate the minimum panel width and the maximum growth ratio in case you're interested in those values for exporting out to, say, a grid tool to set this stuff up for CFD. So that's a bit of an overview of the type of topics we're going to cover for this component. Of course, we're going to go into much greater detail in subsequent videos, but this gives you a bit of a flavor and a few resources to get started with this component.